So this is an introductory video to try and explain what the, some of the resources are uh, in a DICET. Uh, this is DICET is the DeBakey Institute for Cardiovascular Education and Training. And there are numerous resources from which industry can actually cherry pick what they require in order to uh, build a course. So here we are up on the second floor of the Research Institute, it is outside our 250 seat John Bookout Auditorium. Uh, there's a nice space that will typically set up booths and it's an opportunity for industry to uh, present their various different products in this area. It can also be an area where we uh, serve uh, food and drinks. Uh, there are also two large screens where we can relay uh, the program out of the Bookout Auditorium so that those vendors who are outside can actually see what is going on and the presentations which are taking place. And here's a picture of Mr. Bookout himself. So this area can handle about 250 people. Now we've moved inside the auditorium. Um, it is a, a very nice auditorium. It is completely integrated into our operating rooms and into Mighty, um, so that if there are cases which we want to demonstrate, it can be relayed in. And this is all controlled from a la very large control room uh, situated in the, in the back of the auditorium. And this is overflow seating. Uh, more stadium style uh, at the back which allows us to bring this up to about a 250 capacity. <clears throat> So a variety of different uh, meetings are actually held here. This is a view now from the uh, speaker's end looking back up into this uh, banked auditorium. Uh, large screens, uh, multiple different screens can be brought in and hosted here uh, if need be. Now we're moving uh, from here into the, immediately adjacent to this is another overflow area. We refer to this as the Research Institute boardroom, uh, but this also doubles as a approximately 70 seat, slightly smaller venue. Again, this can also be used either for serving uh, food or we often line this with additional booths for vendors, depending upon the size of the show which we're uh, running uh, on that particular day. This is also integrated uh, fully from an audiovisual standpoint into operating rooms, cat labs, and up into the operating rooms um, and labs that were up in Mighty. Uh, so uh, cases which are ongoing can be relatively easily transmitted and seamlessly. We, this is because of the integration, it's really just a matter of push of a button and we can actually witness the procedures that are being done uh, either in the building or in the adjacent uh, hospital. So from here we're going to move up um, into the fifth floor um, of the uh, Research Institute uh, and this is where uh, Main Mighty is actually held and now we're actually moved up into this on the a plaque on the wall is our namesake Dr. DeBakey and all of the educational activities in the Heart Centre roll through what we refer to as the DeBakey Institute for Cardiovascular Education. Uh, the hands-on or the skills workshops uh, for DICET are predominantly held up in, in MITEI and the, the acronym MITEI stands for Methodist Institute for Technology, Innovation and Education. We're very proud of this. Many training centres around the country are in, in a, a dismal basement here. You can see this beautiful space that's in the heart of the medical center. Um, and we think of this as mission control. This is called a med presence room. Um, and this is a very nice 35 seat auditorium, which again is connected both back into the training labs uh, in the fifth floor itself, but also can connect into the hybrid operating rooms, the main operating rooms, and even uh, more remotely. As we walk down the front hall in Mighty, there are a number of different classrooms <clears throat> and these can be configured in a variety of different ways. And so the whole concept of this is that you, you pre-flight, in other words, train our educators uh, and uh, students beforehand, then you go back and do the procedure and then you debrief back in these classrooms. So you need to have enough classrooms uh, in order to support this. And you can see there are screens at either end. A room this size can be completely partitioned down the middle to make two smaller rooms. And it's very nice from an industry standpoint if they've got customers who are working back in the hands-on space, they can actually see and observe what they are doing. So what we've now gone is back into the main training facility in Mighty itself. Um, this is, as you can see, this is a huge uh, um, auditorium where uh, multiple surgical or nursing teams can actually work. And again, it can either be one large space or each of these can be partitioned. One of the really nice uh, features of this is that in each of the modules there is a training area where we can transmit uh, images to the various different other uh, stations. 
It's also supported by a CAT scanner. Uh, this is the, uh, a GE uh, four slice CT scanner. Uh, we use this really to create images often for image fusion. Immediately adjacent to this is the Intuitive Surgical uh, Training Center. Um, this is by and large used almost on a daily basis. Uh, Intuitive uh, essentially run this and bring in uh, general surgeons, gynecologists, and this is a fairly busy place, but this is also available to support, for example, minimally invasive cardiac surgery uh, programs, and we will uh, bring experts in to train people from around the country uh, using the robot for takedown of the lima, for example, or a robotic coronary bypass. We've now moved into what we refer to as the hybrid room space, and this is a combined MRI slash uh, Zego uh, hybrid room. Uh, we also have a symbionics simulator. Uh, we can do patient specific simulation here. But as we move back into the main bay, this is a fully functional Siemens Zego hybrid room. Um, and this is all preclinical. We don't bring patients in here. And you can see in the background is transesophageal echo. We have a Bluetooth ultrasound. Uh, all of this is supported by Storch uh, integration, so everything in here is recordable um, and transmittable. And behind that silver door is the MRI scanner, which allows us to evaluate using MR the efficacy of any intervention to which we perform. And you can see this is a beautiful space, very like the hybrid operating rooms that we function in on a daily basis. Uh, that is a Visitor 1 a robot from Siemens that allows us to, uh, can be remotely controlled for remote proctoring, remote visualization. And this is the Hansen Magellan uh, robotic catheter control system. Uh, as I say, this doubles both as a research lab and as a training lab. And we're particularly interested in the integration of 3D visualization and 3D, uh, 3D imaging. And one of the nice features is that um, that table, uh, not this particular table, but the table can be disconnected, that door can be opened, the patient can be moved straight into the MRI scan. And one of the uh, areas of great interest in the heart center is MR guided interventions. We really see this uh, as an opportunity in the future. <clears throat> so the entire area is uh, often supported by industry and these are just an example of some of the partners uh, who support this. Um, what we're particularly excited about is immediately adjacent to uh, Mighty. Uh, this is where the North Campus, this is going to be the new Heart and Vascular Center. And so one of the real uh, advantages of the DICET setup is the immediate adjacency of the large clinical operation and the ability to move seamlessly between case observation, performing cases, and straight into this training environment. Uh, it makes it very nice both for our participants and our educators. Thank you very much indeed uh, for the opportunity to tell you a little bit about DICET and some of our programs. Thank you.